Inhale, exhale, butt out. Tobacco is still the leading cause of disease and death in Canada. And in an attempt to save 37,000 lives that are lost each year to tobacco-related illnesses, a week has been designated to quitting smoking for the last 30 years. This year's theme, Live, Work and Play Smoke Free, is something BC residents are taking to heart. Uh, well, BC actually has the, the lowest percentage of smokers at 14%. And uh, we would like, obviously, it to go even lower than that and ideally having no people smoking. With the kickoff to National Non-Smoking Week, the Canadian Cancer Society called on the provincial government to increase restrictions on outdoor smoking. But here in Kelowna, there's already a few bylaws in place. We really applaud Kelowna having this outdoor tobacco bylaw, so there, there isn't smoking in, on beaches and in the parks and at public events here in Kelowna. Uh, but People can still smoke on the uh, restaurant and pub patios. We would love if the provincial government had legislation that just bans it on all restaurant and pub patios. There is already provincial regulations around um, you can't have smoking within three meters of a door or a window. So a lot of the patios that would have an impact, especially um, the city was looking at Bernard Avenue with the new look of Bernard. There may be patios right outside of the business doors and so it may be already be quite limited in what you can do in terms of smoking. It's also becoming easier for British Columbians to butt out with support systems like Quit Now or by using the BC Smoking Sensation program by calling 811. 70% of people want to quit. We need to realize that tobacco is an addiction. Um, it only takes seven to 10 seconds for n nicotine to reach the brain. So this is why people are so susceptible to um, be becoming addicted. Smoking costs the BC economy approximately $2.3 billion annually. So if the provincial government does increase restrictions on outdoor smoking, the thought is both the cost and the number of those lighting up will decrease. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.